50 years of innovation, technology, and forward thinking, this is Burkmar High School 50th anniversary. Born in 1966, Burkmar High School has always been a unique and special school to Gwinnett County. In the fall of 1966, a bright shining star Burkmar High School opened its doors to new innovative pathways into education. Burkmar High School, comprising of a merge between Lilburn and Bethesda High School, was unique in itself in that the two schools were bitter rivals. In fact, these were the last of 10 high schools that were consolidated in Gwinnett County. Before the final details about this new school were even hashed out, the county had to find a good place for the new school to call home. For that, they turned to Leon Garner. My grandfather, Mr. Leon Garner, and his home place was off of uh, Beaver Ruin Road. And my dad built a house right off of Pleasant Hill Road. Uh, the land has come down to what is today Burkmar. Uh, my, my grandfather's family uh, sold the property to uh, Gwinnett County. With that generosity, the stage was set for the building of the new high school. Even more interesting, it took many years to decide the name of the newest addition to Lilburn, Georgia. If this was to be the new bright spot of the community, it had to have a name that both sides could agree on. They were given a choice and uh, what the school, new school, would be named. And uh, I, I think they were given maybe a couple of different choices. And Burtmar, uh name, I, I'm sure everybody knows, came from the two voting district names, Martin District and uh, Berkshire District. So those two were put together and came up with Burtmar. And uh, I know my, if my family didn't choose it, I know they accepted it and approved it. From there, the colors red, white, and blue were picked, and the Patriot would be the mascot to represent the school. Burkmar itself was a work of emerging technology and innovative thinking as it was one of only three schools in the nation to have movable partition and very few windows. We were in a class and it had partitions to where you could hear the other class sometimes if they got too loud. <laughs> and they thought it might be good to have an open classroom concept. And Burkmar, uh, at least um, when I got here, was a new, well, it was a fairly new school. In addition, it was the only school in the county that had air conditioned, carpeted floors, and electrical heat. Teachers did not adapt well to this construction, and within a few years, walls were constructed in the school. We redesigned the school and and, and, and put solid walls up. They had, you know, sliding partitions, which didn't allow for um, sound, you know, soundproofing between classrooms. For instance, the class on film uh, required that the lights be dimmed. And remember, I talked about an open classroom concept, so there weren't walls. And the lights for the class on film would dim, and there might be a class just down the way on um, uh, you know essays and you know uh, creative writing or something, and they needed light. Well, the lights went out for them too. Starting off as a relatively small school with a total of 425 students, Burkmar began to grow rapidly, and by 1976, the school grew to 2,000 students. It was a very fast-growing school system at the time, and. Um, so it, 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 it balanced out, and I think our students got, in fact, I know they got good education. The county then decided that they needed to build another high school to prevent overcrowding at Burkmar. They did just that, building two high schools in the span of 10 years. It was a building built for about 1,000 students, maybe 1,200, and we had 1,800 to 2,100 in it before it was renovated the first time. Uh, so it was very crowded. The rooms were small, uh, the hallways were a bit dark at the very beginning, um, but it was, there was a lot of energy here. It was a great place to be. The year is 1991. Students in this era had already experienced building growth by way of construction and students, and they were about to experience more. Um, 
pretty much the whole structure of the school is a lot different. The front of the school today wasn't here, it was the side of the school. The addition of the new building would house a new band room and administrative offices, which would become known as the C Building. Student life during this time fostered huge support of sporting events, especially football. School pride was at an all-time high as rivalries became heated between Parkview High School and, more importantly, Meadow Creek High School. We were pride. There was a lot of pride in being at Burkmore. Like we like, but you know these other schools don't know how we really are. Um, we went to the games. Creek first opened up, and. Um, what today's rivalry far as um, Burt Maher and Discovery, it was Burt Maher and Meadow Creek. The programs were big and, and football was big back then and, and it, 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 Friday nights were crazy. It was, it was fun. The boom from the Cannon at football games became a staple of the Burt Maher community and forever lives in the heart of the football players of days past. That sound, that old rugged sound, could be heard for miles and resonated through the hearts and minds of the Patriots. In 2003, a new wing of the school was completed. This addition was the last addition in what is present day Burkmar. Students can fondly remember their time here in the 2000s. I was crowned homecoming queen in October of 2004 and I also won my junior year. So those are my fondest memories. Beating Parkview to qualify for state, the state tournament. And I think the women's basketball team hadn't done that in, I mean, I don't know, a long time. This building actually, the first year it was created was actually my senior year was, so we got to hang out in the fancy, what we call the D building now. I still, cause I'm old school, I just call it the new building. Along with new principal, Al Taylor, Burkmar continued to set the standard in education and innovation, becoming one of only a few schools in Gwinnett County to become an academy school in 2015. Burkmar's willingness to be an education forward school has garnered support from the county and the surrounding community. Happy anniversary, Burkmar, and here's to 50 plus more years of academic excellence.